Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech. We're going to review the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. This is Android's ice cream sandwich phone, or kind of their standard phone they do once a year with the latest version of Android on it. So let's talk about the phone specs it's, itself and then get into the phone. Now the phone itself has a beautiful 1280 by 720 p resolution and it's really beautiful it's 4.65 inches super amoled plus i believe is the name of it and works really nice it it looks great and is is uh, beautiful and i'll show you that in a moment we have a 1.2 megapixel forward facing camera our earpiece here to listen to calls down on the bottom we have our microphone our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and our micro usb charge slash sync port on this side we have some what they call pogo pins and this is for a dock if you have the dock it'll uh, charge and communicate with we have our sleep wake button on the side typical samsung and uh, power on on the top not really anything here on this side we have a volume rocker on the back we have a 5 megapixel 1280 by 720p video camera or 1080p or 720p video camera single led flash we have our speaker phone down here on the bottom Underneath, we have a battery uh, and our 4G SIM card. And I believe this is a new plastic. It feels just like plastic, but Samsung, I think, is calling it HyperSkin. The battery is good for a full day of use. Uh, I'm able to get a full day. The first day is pretty bad uh, as I used it a lot and it was on 4G with weak signal. Uh, after that the next day or two went really well and I was getting a full day's use easy out of it. Uh, no problem and really uh, worked great as far as that goes. I was able to you know get it out of uh, get out of bed, grab it at about 9 or 10 in the morning depending on uh, when I got up. I work second shift so uh, and then stay up till about 2, two in the morning and use it so no problem uh, then charge it before i went to bed and was ready for the next day it worked really well the phone actually has curved glass as well as you can see here it's really nice uh, overall feels good in the hand it is plasticky feeling a little bit but it has a good weight to it and feels nice and strong it's gorilla glass on the front and overall the screen looks really nice and vibrant ice cream sandwich adds a really nice look to the phone they hired a designer uh, from webos that came over and helped design what the phone itself looks like in the ui and it's really a big improvement over gingerbread in the previous versions things are smooth things flow much better and things just move really nice and it has some great great uh improvements to the os the slider here uh, is great. It, it works from the lock screen. Here we can just pull it down, go into our messages, it just pops up. The screen's really responsive. The processor itself powering this uh, makes things quick, and that's a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. It has a gig of RAM that's for the processor to use, and then you have 32 gigabytes of internal storage on this phone. So it's really very nice as far as that goes. I'm not going to talk about Android 4.0 too much, but I just want to say that I like it a lot. And in fact, it makes this phone feel more like uh, the smoothness of an iPhone or Windows Phone 7. I think that's what Android was lacking the most. Uh, they did a great job uh, as far as what it did and functionality wise, but the design just wasn't as good as far as smoothness and things interacting and, and some of the touch sensitivity sometimes. And I know that can be the phone too, but in this case, it they've just really uh, tweaked it and made things nicer. They came up with a new font called Roboto for it. I like it a lot. It works great. And has some great, great features. This phone also has NFC built in, so eventually you should be able to use Google Wallet. I know you can use that now if you hack the phone. So if you have the phone itself, you can uh, use it as your wallet and just tap it on one of those credit card things and uh, you'll be able to use it as your, your wallet eventually. So it's really nice for that. Uh, overall, though, the design of the phone's great. It's my favorite Android phone by far right now, uh, mostly due to Ice Cream Sandwich and the screen this this high-res screen is great for watching videos and in fact these touch buttons down here at the bottom are built into the screen now they're not actual buttons so when you're watching a video they go away so if i shut it off they go away they're not on the screen anymore and it's really nice when you're watching a video you just have a little bit more real estate to watch on
the 4G speeds I was getting on this phone are really nice. They work really well, and uh, we're as fast as a home cable modem that most people probably have. So there's really not an issue there. Uh, it does drain some more power when you're using 4G. And I haven't charged this phone in a while. It's been in standby for a while and uh, lasts a really long time. I think most people would be pretty happy with battery life on this. If you're looking for an Android phone, uh, look right here at this phone first because this is the one that you really want to look at. It is, in my opinion, the best Android phone out right now thanks to Ice Cream Sandwich, the beautiful curved glass, the high resolution screen, the decent battery life, the 4G speed, and it's available on Verizon here in the United States. Um, and GSM as well uh, on some other carriers. But as far as Verizon goes, 4G speeds were incredible home modem speed-wise. Uh, they were very similar to what I would get at home. You can see I've got low battery there, but I haven't charged it in a while, so not really an issue. Uh, overall, I would definitely recommend it. If you have any questions or comments about the phone, if you've used one or you're thinking about one or have some questions you need answered, go ahead and post them in the comments below. I'll try and answer them. Uh, and if I need to make another video to show you something you'd like to see, please go ahead and comment below. I'll do that. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please go ahead and do that. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.